Should you build your own cordless drill battery? Hello all, today I'm reviewing a DeWalt 10 cell 3 or 4 amp hour battery shell. These are $15 from China on eBay. This video was originally recorded in June 2019. I've lost some of the footage, but that won't affect the outcome. A genuine DeWalt 4 amp hour battery is $93 from Bunnings. Or you can get a third party one from eBay for a very reasonable 36 Australian dollars. You should probably stop the video here and buy that one now. Since you're still here, I have plenty of 18650s from harvesting laptop battery packs, so let's have a look. The DeWalt 1.3 amp hour 5S1P battery pack have 25 amp max discharge high drain cells. So will normal cells work in 2P or parallel? That sounds reasonable, except laptop batteries are nowhere near high drain, not even 50%. In this case I didn't have 10 exactly the same, which is poor form, because I have better things to do with them. I chose 5 Samsung ICR18650-22P cells and 5 Sony SE-US18650GR cells. They are not high drain, that is 10 amp max discharge for the Samsung and I couldn't find a rating for the Sony. Now I've bought two of these from two different sellers on eBay, both identical. I didn't know how to assemble one, so I had a look online and found a teardown on Psyonix project blog. Comparing the battery shell to the original in his pictures, there is a definite quality difference. These original LG cells had 30 amp discharge. The tabs were much thicker. Long story short, here's one I prepared earlier using an awful Sunco spot welder. I will do a review on that later. Now both of these battery shells have the same damning problem, no screws. The problem is they are about 2.5mm by 38mm long. You won't find them anywhere. I contacted the eBay seller and they replied, maybe you can find them in a local shop. Well thanks, you might as well tell me to move somewhere with a proper supply chain. So I went to Bunnings and got these 6G 40mm MDF screws. I drilled out the holes to 4mm. The countersunk head was not a problem, and the screws have secured everything nicely. Ok, all done, it worked. I used it for light duty work on the drill, and later to charge my phone, rather than abuse it with the impact driver. The weak spot welds ended up failing, and I'm waiting for a new spot welder to fix it, rather than solder them which I don't think is a good option due to space restraints and they might be more likely to let go. In conclusion, for $16 if you have high drain cells on hand and a spot welder, this battery shell would be a good way to save money. Buying cells could be an option if you have a DeWalt branded battery with faulty cells, but the clear winner is buying a new one. You have a choice between $36 and $93. Going by other third party battery comparison videos, my recommendation would be buy the $36 one. If it's actually good, buy a second or third one also. If you're a tradesman using your tools every day, buy the genuine DeWalt 4 amp hour or 5 amp hour. If the battery goes harder and saves you an extra trip down that ladder every day, it's definitely worth the expense. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the links in the description and please like and subscribe for further videos.